I've been losing my vision over a couple of years because of diabetes. I was in a car accident and I was blindsided. It was like, okay, sure, you gotta stop what you're doing because this is not good for you. Um, DME has limited my activities in the fact that I no longer can read as much as I would like to. I have to read on the Kindle where I can make it larger. Um, I work in IT, so I spend a lot of time working on the computer which it affects that a great deal. So there really was a paradigm shift in terms of our primary treatment for diabetic macular edema. Uh, long ago, we used to start with laser. For most of my patients, we now start with injections. I typically start with an anti-VEGF injection, giving that about every month, you know, four, five injections to make sure that they respond adequately. If there's not a response adequately to about four or five anti-VEGF injections, I try to think of something else to use. The Luvian is FDA approved because it was shown in two parallel prospective randomized clinical trials to be safe and effective in patients with diabetic macular edema. And that's because with a single injection, a small amount of fluocinolone acetonide will be released into the eye for up to three years. Patients who have been struggling with persistent DME and have shown to not have a steroid response are excellent candidates for the Luvian implant. I'm very hopeful that it's going to help my DME patients avoid frequent injections, stabilize their vision, and then they'll just see me once every three months in order to check their pressure and make sure they're doing fine with the treatment. I think a lot of patients with diabetic macular edema who have had prior corticosteroid treatment without a significant rise in IOP may benefit a lot from this injection. I'm really excited. I'm hoping that I have to go to the eye doctor less than what I was going and that it will be at least a solution to the problem. And I hope I can see better from it and maybe I can be able to get back to my driving because I miss my car. Do not use Alluvian if you have or think you might have an infection in or around the eye. Alluvian should not be used if you have glaucoma. You should not use Alluvian if you are allergic to any ingredients of Alluvian. Injections into the vitreous in the eye are associated with a serious eye infection in dolphomitis, eye inflammation, increased eye pressure, glaucoma, and retinal detachments. Your eye doctor should monitor you regularly after the injection. Use of corticosteroids, including Alluvian, may produce cataracts, increased eye pressure, glaucoma, and may increase secondary eye infections due to bacteria, fungi, or viruses. Let your doctor know if you have a history of herpes viral infections of the eye. If the posterior capsule of the lens of your eye is missing or torn, the Alluvian implant may move to the front chamber of the eye. The most common side effects reported in patients with diabetic macular edema who are treated with Alluvian include cataracts, Alluvian 82%, sham 50%, and increased eye pressure of greater than 10 millimeters of mercury, alluvium 34%, sham 10%.